I know you struggled with at least one of these problems. Number one, feeling unstable when changing stances quickly in kata and moving forward in kumite. Number two, struggling with getting that long and deep stances in kata and kumite. Number three, feeling those pain in your lower back, knee, thigh, hips, ankle, shin, all the parts related to the leg. And number four, feeling very tired on the front thigh after doing a lot of kicks and footwork drills. And trust me guys, I know how irritating all those problems can be. You know, you're in the middle of the kata doing a great one and suddenly you lose the balance and the focus is just gone. Other times, I used to struggle a lot with getting the deep and long stances. And also, I got tired so easily when I just started karate. But guys, what if I tell you that all these problems derive from this one very common body usage mistake? If you watch this next five videos, just the five videos up to the end, you can learn exactly how to get rid of it step by step. In fact, you don't need any stamina, flexibility, strength, uh, skill set in order to learn this course. So. What are you supposed to do, right? The answer and the topic for chapter one is sliding in with your toes. And here's an outline of this chapter. Number one, why is this effective? Number two, entry drill. Number three, intermediate drill. Number four, expert drill number one related to kata. And number five, expert drill number two related to kumite. Now let's move on to the first video of why is this effective? All right guys, so let me start off by explaining what I mean by slide in from your toes. Uh, let me just take an exa uh, easy example here. Uh, just step in like this, okay? Nothing special. Give it a try right now. Stand up from your desk. Just step forward. This, I, I'm pretty sure if you don't think about anything, you would just land from the heel and then flap, or I guess the bottom of the foot just flips on like this, right? But this is what we don't want to do in this course. What I mean by sliding from your toes is this. See the difference? This, okay? Uh, to be very specific, it's not just your toe, it's actually your toe and the ball of the foot, so both those parts sliding in together, okay? So why am I saying so much about this slide in from your toe concept? Well, let me explain through these four keywords, and I'm sure you're gonna be convinced. Number one, stable. Number two, safe. Number three, long. And number four, efficient. Let's go through a very interesting experiment now. Uh, what I'd like you to do is first, um, roll up your, uh, your dogi, or if you're wearing shorts, that's fine. From here, just a simple movement of you from here, kneeling down like this, okay? And first, what I'd like you to do is go from your heel. So land from the heel, okay, from the heel, and kneel down like this, okay? Give that a try a few times and see how it feels on the body. This a few times. What you'll notice for at least uh, from what I notice is from my flexibility aspect, I feel a little restraint on the side of the hip and also, I think this applies for everybody, your knee comes in like this. This is how the body is just structured. When you land on your heel, just your heel, then what happens is your knee is going to internally rotate. Your knee, or to be a little more specific, your knee and your pelvis is going to fold in like this. That's how our body is built. Therefore, if you always land from the heel, the knee is not going to be stabilized. This applies for kata too. If you step in like this, then it's gonna be harder to stabilize the, uh, the knee. I'm sure you come across this problem a few times. Now, you, uh, what I'd like you to do is, same motion, go from the ball and the toe, okay? Go from the ball and the toe and land down. This, it's gonna significantly change your movement. You won't feel the knee coming in once you do this. Okay, so that's the first merit of why you should slide in from your toes. Now, why is it safer to slide in from your toes? Like I explained before, when you land from the heel, your knee internally rotates like this. This means you are forcing your body to be kept in balance using the muscles around your thigh, 
your shin, the back of the leg, and all these parts related to the lower body. However, if you land from the toe and go down, your bone basically fits into the spot where it's supposed to be. Therefore, you are not wasting unnecessary energy and thus you are safer. You're not forcing your body in any way. So guys, how does leading with your toes or sliding from your toes make your movements longer? Let me explain. Let's do a small experiment now. Stand like this, okay? Hachichi dachi, uh, facing like this. So toes a little bit open, uh, leg next to each other. From here, just step out naturally. First try, land from the heel. So go as far as you can, like this. I would say this is my maximum width uh, when I land from the heel. Okay, remember this distance, guys, to here. Now go back to exactly the same point. Now slide in from your toes. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> I think I gained like 10 centimeters or so uh, when you land from the toes. Why is this happening, right? Uh, first, um, what I'd like you to do is go from the heel like this and feel which muscle you're using when the weight is applied onto the heel, like this. Okay, give it a try right now. I think you'll feel how the front thigh is becoming pretty tired when you do this, okay? When you got that feeling, okay, go back. Now, slide from your toes like this. When you do this, the front thigh is not that much used. It's a slightly more relaxed, and you're more of pushing from the back leg, like this, okay? This is why you can gain a longer distance uh, for uh, if you use your toes. For instance, in kumite, right? From here, you can slide yourself forward more if you go from the toes. In kata too, let's say you change the direction here like this. If you go from the heel, you restrict yourself. You're stopping with the front thigh. But without that restriction, using your toes, you can slide yourself in forward more making your movements more dynamic and a lot longer. At last guys, why is leading from your toes or sliding from your toes make your movements efficient? One thing you have to know is if you rely on the front part of the thigh, that's the muscle to stop your movement. For instance, let's say you run and then you change the direction like this. This, you are using the front part of the thigh to kick yourself off to the another direction. Therefore, this muscle is used for you to break here and then go on to the next movement. However, in a scene where you want to move forward, if you use that same muscle, the front, thigh, front part of the thigh, you are stopping yourself, you're restricting yourself without you noticing. Therefore, if you don't, if you don't use this and just move forward, it's pretty much power efficient. No need for you to fight against your break. Now that you know all four merits to why this concept is important, let us move on to how you can use your toes effectively in the next video. If you'd like to watch the next video, come sign up to the Hidden Karate Principles course of the Karate University from the link in the description. I'll see you guys there.